What's up, everybody? It's your favorite uncle, Uncle Rock Bottom, here with another Pokemon unboxing video. Now, today we've got a couple old school packs that I picked up uh, this week. They're on sale. They're the Snorlax GX box. Also comes with the Gengar GX EX box and the Dragonite EX box. So this set, I think they usually sell for about ten or twenty dollars a piece. Um, it looks like in the past they can go up to almost 30. They each have four packs, a couple of promo cards, but GameStop right now has them for $30 for all three. So it's a triple pack sealed together, 30 bucks. But this week I got lucky and I had a 30% off code. So I grabbed two different sets, as you can see right here, for $21 each. So with tax and everything, it's about $42 for all six boxes. Each one has four packs. So about $40 for 24 packs. Not the greatest packs in the world. They all include two Evolutions XY and two Fates Collide, which are some of the lower rank sets. The XY sets are pretty uh, low rank. Not as bad as Steam Siege, but pretty low. But if you enjoy opening packs and just playing around and seeing what you get, it's a great value to pick these up right now. All right, so with a little movie magic, I opened all six boxes and we come out with the promo cards. So I'll just show you these guys real quick. You've probably seen them a hundred times. In the Snorlax set, you get the base uh, reproduction um, from XY Evolutions, I think, of Snorlax. You get the promo Snorlax GX. You get the Gengar EX and the Dragonite EX. So very cool cards, really colorful. And then you get the enlarged, supersized version of each of those three cards too. So for someone like me who really, my, my two favorite Pokemon are Gengar and Snorlax, this is a great set for me. Uh, Dragonite is right up there too. I'm a big fan of the original set. If you've watched some of the other videos, you know that I haven't really opened packs in 20 years. I collected them when I was a kid, probably gave them all away or lost most of them. I have a couple random cards that came out a little later that I have um, kind of on display behind. But... I really enjoy opening packs, not necessarily looking for the most expensive or most valuable cards. They're always nice to find, but really opening cards is kind of a nostalgia thing for me and I really enjoy it. So with that movie magic, I opened up all six cases. Each one had four packs. The majority are XY Evolutions, a lot of Fates Collide, and then there's a base set, Sun and Moon, and a Steam Siege thrown in, which are just kind of random, but we're going to crack them open, have some fun like we always do, and uh, see what we get. I'm going to start with the Evolutions pack open. I think Evolutions is the just the 10 cards. So I think it's three from the back, but I never know. Trainer, Charmeleon, Super Potion, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Energy, a colorless energy, and um, or this isn't a colorless energy, this is a just a shiny energy. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, the rare, a, a regular non-hollow Arcanine. So I'm still getting used to these sets. It looks like it's actually, I did the order correctly. Um, I guess all the X and Y sets are three cards from the back, but like I said, I'm still figuring this out. Haven't opened a lot of these packs yet, but i um, enjoying myself so far for sure. And I think in the base set reproduction, we're looking for, you know, the regular original Charizard. I think there's some different ones. Uh, Diglett, Mancino, Spoink, Coughing, Cottony, Fennekin, and a non-hollow Brodzong. I think in Fates Collide, the best card you can get? I'm not even sure, but I know these sets are not great by any means, so not looking for anything specific, just having a good time. If there's any cards you want, reach out in the comment. I'll send them over to you. I don't know what I'm going to do with them here. They're just all piling up now. Uh, Magmar, Switch, Maintenance, Machop, Tangela, Vulpix, Energy, a Voltorb, that is a reverse hollow uncommon. And there is, I'm holding it and not looking at it, a holographic Charizard. The reproduction of the original set, the centering looks really, really good. Maybe a little bit top to bottom is off. A little bit of bend to the card, but honestly, I think this is one of the best cards you can get. This is amazing. Uh, I'm looking at the trainer to see what this actually is. And I pull a Charizard. Really, really crazy. Excited to pull that. Um, Definitely putting this in a sleeve right away if I could find one. Here we go. Uh, I think this is one of the better ones. I think there's an EX Charizard in this set, but I mean, to pull Charizard in one of the first packs is kind of sick. Um, that's really unexpected, so 
That is amazing. Co-card. Who would have thought? Laudrid, Dugong, Pupitar, Riolu, Bronzor, Deerling, Carbink, Fennekin, Marowak, and a EX Alakazam. I think this is also actually one of the really good ones. So we're we're crushing right now. Two for two for four in that in this set so far. That's amazing. Um, for some of these random packs, like I said, like these uh the whole package for all three sets, twelve packs came to twenty one dollars plus tax. It was delivered in a couple of days. So if you guys are hanging at home and you catch one of these deals, you can, might be able to pick up some of these super rare older school, old school cards and just have a good time opening them. Uh, like I am. And this, you know, is a really throwback. These XY evolutions, I know they're not worth a ton of money, but they're the pretty much the reprints of the original base set. And that's when I started collecting and, and playing with these cards. So this is really exciting for me. We've got a reverse hollow Raichu and a non hollow Dugong. So anytime I can get my hands on these, um, I know they're a little older now. I think they came out in 2017 or 18 um, for the most part. But anytime I get a hold of them, uh, I'll pick them up if they're, you know, there's a good value there. Lombra, Lombre, Hombre, I don't know. Rare Candy, Elite, Electric, Soul Rock, Drillbur, Nosepass, Full Beat, Spinda, Professor Birch's Observations, and a Holographic Manectric. Very cool looking card. Now we got the Base Set Sun and Moon. This is 10 additional cards, so I think this is also three from the back. It's really tricky when they keep alternating. There you go. Uh, Herdier, Persian, Dartrix is the first time I've seen that. Fomantis, Morlow, Sandy Hast, Dratini, Diglett, Energy Switch, and a Lurantis GX card. I have no idea who that Pokemon is. The first time I have ever seen it. So Sun and Moon base is four from the back, but cool card. I don't know who it is. I've never seen it before. Don't know what it evolves from. Don't know what generation it is, but... I guess I'm learning something new. I have been watching a lot of Sun and Moon episodes in my free time during uh, quarantine. I'm trying to catch up and figure out, you know, what happened over the years and uh, catching what I can on Netflix and any other streaming services. Claw Fossil Anorith, Clang, Special Charge, Meryl, Sneasel, Litleo, Nidoron, Nosepass, Joltik, and a non-hollow Samurott. Back to XY Evolutions. I didn't put these in any kind of order. I just pulled them out as they came out. It looks like the uh, Gengar set was the one that had a couple of different packs, whereas the Dragonite and Snorlax sets had the same Fates Collide and XY Evolutions, excuse me. Coughing, Kakuna, Charmeleon, Voltorb, Poliwag, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Reverse Hollow Magnemite, and a Non Hollow Farfetched. I would say when we see Charmeleon, you sometimes get, you know, a little itch in your little butterflies and you tell me that maybe it's a sign that you're going to pull a Charizard, but we pulled one on the first pack. So we can't really do any better than that, I don't think. I think the M the EX or GX Charizard in this set is um, even more rare, but to pull a base set Charizard is just kind of sick. What does it got? Brakeson, Fermi, Snubble, Bronzor, Minchino, Deerling. Chaos Tower, Full Art, and a non-hollow Zygarde. What is a Zygarde? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's one of those beasts because they seem to be all the weird name ones. XY Evolutions. Next, there's that code card for you guys. If you're catching those at home. Trainer. Devolutions, I'm just reading Trainer. Pokedex, Porygon, Weedle, Electabuzz, Drowsy. Drowsy. Star you. Energy, Charmeleon, and an M Charizard. So in this box, this pack of 12 cards in the same box, we pulled two Charizards from XY Evolutions. Now, I don't know what the odds of that are, but I have to assume they're pretty damn high. So this is really, really crazy. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of at a loss for words with what just happened. And like I said, you know, just a minute ago, when you see that reverse hollow Charmeleon, you feel like you're, you're going to get something. And there it was. Right after that, two Charizards in the same, in 11 packs. 
in the same set. I don't know what the odds of that are, but I gotta assume they're pretty low to pull something like that. Usually you see a good card, a hit, as they call it, um, maybe like one every three packs or so, but you know, some of the regular hollow foils now are super common. Um, they're trying to get, you know, I guess, people more interested in, in collecting them and, and keeping them, but they just print so many that the value goes down. But um, really, really crazy to catch two Charizards in the same pack. Binacle, Meowth, Jigglypuff, Devolution Spray, Reverse Holograph, and an Exploud non-holographic. All right, so I only pulled those two Charizards aside. I didn't really look at what else was here, but honestly, if you're gonna have to talk about two pulls in the same three box set, those two are what you want. So I'm super pumped. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I don't think we can top that, but let's see what we can do in this next 12. So we got 12 packs. This is from the second set of three. Um, again, didn't pull them out in any sort of order. But let's see what we pull. Poliwhirl, Full Heal, Porygon, Drowsy, Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, Machop, Charmeleon. Can we do it again? No, we got a, <laughs> probably the, my least favorite card in the whole set. A non holo Raticate. So maybe we went from the top to bottom. We should open this the other way. But how do you ever know when you're cracking packs open? Never can tell what you're going to get. Life is like a box of Pokemon cards. Never know what you're going to get. Nidorino. Switch. Blastoise Spirit Link. Drowsy. Caterpie. Doduo. Pikachu. I think those are the same four we just saw. Machop. Maybe five. Weedle. And a holographic Nidoking. Very, very cool. I remember pulling one of these when I was a kid um, and getting one of those. I think I only had one Charizard ever. And, you know, hindsight's 2020. You wish you, you know, I wish I held on to it, but that wasn't the case. I probably gave it away, probably lost it somewhere along the way. 20 years. I mean, I was a teen. I'm a little bit older, but, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't ever thinking that 20 years from then, like, they'd be worth money. I don't think anyone was, and that's why they are worth so much money, because so much, so many people played with them or lost them or threw them out, and it's just a different generation now. Maintenance. Diglett. Radada. Charmander. Energy card, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Sanchu, and another non hollow Dugong. Right, evolution set again. I guess that last one was two. Code card. All right. Potion, Metabod, Professor Oak's Hint. What is he hinting at? Diglett, Seal, Nidoron, Ponyta, Doduo, Machoke, and a non hollow Doug Trio. Not quite as exciting as the first set. Uh, and I'm sorry that the first part of this video was the exciting part. Um, hopefully you guys are sticking around. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and you enjoy me opening packs and, um, and going through some nostalgia with all of you, please hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe. Let's, uh, let me know you guys are out there and watching and I'll continue making these videos. I'm having a great time doing them. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Drowsy, Electabuzz, Metapod. And a non hollow far fetched. Looks like our non hollows are all the same, probably the same kind of pack allotment. They're all very similar. There's a code, but um, I don't think we're gonna do any better than those hollows we pulled. Ultra Ball, Kabuto, Kangaskhan, Coughing, Volibi, Riolu, Cottony, Seal, Reverse Hollow Lucario, and a non hollow Bronzong. Again, we pulled that one too. Probably on the more common setup. Code. Wheezing. Fairy Garden. Whimsicott. Snubble. Deerling. Riolu. Jigglypuff. Carbink. Reverse Hollow Mancino. And a holographic Deancey EX. Very pink card. <laughs> Um, very cool. Put that aside. Um, again, not sure what the values are of these cards or anything like that. Just having a good time opening them. I haven't heard of Deancey until the other day when we opened some packs. This is a Fates Collide pack. Three from the back. Brakeson. Mega Catcher. Duosion. Fennekin. Whimsor. Minchino. Gothita. 
Solosis. Got it again. And a non hollow Kabutops. Some of these Pokemon I'm starting to recognize from uh, Pokemon Go. You pick that up once in a while when I'm walking outside. It makes walking a little bit more interesting. Um, the game has been a little strange since quarantine started. You can do things a lot closer, so I feel like you don't have to do as much, so I haven't played it as much, but Serving, Shauna, Chinchino, still enjoy going out and playing it when I can. Spoink, Diglett, Marvitar, Meowth, Omastar, and a non hollow Exploud. I think we had all our pack luck at the beginning, but uh, I'm not complaining. I don't think you can ever pull so, uh, two Charizards in one set. I'm, I'm kind of amazed by it. Three sets, uh, three cards left, three packs, sorry. Steam Siege, Primal Clash, Sun and Moon. Let's start with Steam Siege because I'm pretty sure that's usually, from what I read, the absolute worst set that exists. It does give you one of these for everyone's watching. Let's see, use that card code. Please only use one or two. Um, I know there's not so many people watching these yet, but if you are watching them and using those codes, please leave a few to share. Pokemon Ranger, Drifblim, Tangela, Krogunk, Shellos, Mankey, Apom, Reverse Hollow Nidoron, and a non hollow Galvantula. So, this set, I don't think we've had really much of anything come out um, this box of uh, 12 that we opened. So, that's a little disappointing, but um, really, like I said, you can't really be disappointed in what we caught at the beginning. Celio, Archie's Ace in the Hole. Always good to have one of those. Skitty, Trico, Funnelby. Weedle, Zigzagoon, Beedrill, and a full art non holographic Ludoculo, which I don't think I've seen a full art non holo one before. Um, that's new for me, so I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm assuming it's probably worthless, but um, just kind of strange. I, I haven't seen a full art card that isn't holographic yet. Last pack of the set. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you'd like, if you wanna keep seeing these videos. Gonna try to do one or two a week until we get a groove going and then maybe do some more more often. Growlithe, Meowth, Dupiter, Diglett. Let's hopefully we get a good hit on this last one. Marini, Nestball, Team Skull Grunt, Full Art. Very, very cool. I did ask for a hit on the last one. We got a Full Art card. Very, very cool. Excited about what we pulled today. Again, just to recap, quite a few EX cards, but the two Big daddies that we caught. Charizard, a Mega Charizard EX, and a Charizard XY Evolutions holographic card. Seems to be in awesome condition. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We went through 24 packs, had a couple really good pulls. Catch me next time when we open some more packs, some old, more old school sets, and see what I get. Catch you next time.